Hi, my name is Anna and I'm a second year student studying mechanical engineering at the University of Colorado Boulder. Today we will discuss specific energy types and sources in order to better understand energy and its origin. Have you ever seen energy? While you cannot always see energy, it is everywhere. We can define energy as the ability to do work, but remember, energy cannot be made or destroyed. It can only change forms. So where does energy come from? Energy can come from natural resources like food, water, plants, trees, and the sun. For example, plants and organisms obtain their energy directly from the sun by a process called photosynthesis. The majority of energy for human consumption comes indirectly via burning fossil fuels, meaning coal, oil, and gas, which receive their energy from fossilized plants and other organisms. These sources of energy are non-renewable or limited in their available quantity. However, there are other sources of energy that are renewable. These natural energy resources are harnessed by engineers through hydroelectric dams, coal and oil power plants, nuclear power plants, windmills, solar panels, and more. Now, let's talk about how energy helps power our everyday lives. For example, a light bulb plugged into the wall. How does the light bulb turn on? Where does the energy come from? The light bulb is receiving its energy from an electric outlet. In theory, a light bulb could always stay on until it either A burns out or B there's a power cut. We classify energy in two ways, potential energy and kinetic energy. What is potential energy? Potential energy is the amount of energy something has stored inside it. For example, when you're sitting in a chair, you have some potential energy. Your potential energy would depend on how high up you are and how big you are. When you fall from the chair to the ground, all potential energy disappears. The second type of energy is called kinetic energy. Do you know what kinetic energy is? Kinetic energy is the energy of an object in motion. Some examples would include objects like a clock, a person running, or a moving skateboard. All have kinetic energy. Energy takes many forms. Thermal energy, or heat energy, boils water, keeps us warm, and drives engines. Chemical energy fuels automobiles and airplanes. Electrical energy drives many small machines and keeps lights glowing. Almost every form of energy can be converted into other forms. But whatever form it is in, energy is essentially the capacity for making something happen, or as engineers and scientists say, doing work. Can you think of energy examples around you? It is important to understand energy, as it allows engineers to look for better ways to produce electricity in order to keep energy affordable and less destructive to the environment. Engineers are also investigating alternative fuel sources for use in vehicles, such as biofuels from algae and hydrogen from water. Today, we learn about energy and engineering. How would you describe energy now? What types of energy can you see, feel, or hear? Why would an engineer care about energy? Check out the lesson on the Teach Engineering website and apply what you have learned about energy in our associated hands-on activities. What is energy and energy detectives at work?